That's your best bet. Hold on. Because Eileen loves Jimmy big time. You know, you know, no, no, no. Um, actually, uh, it would be a snowball's chance in hell for that happen. Well, no. Okay. She might love uh, you. She, uh, uh, some, some people gross me out to no end, and she's one of them. So there, Come on, so we don't stand a chance. No, how seriously, you, really seriously. Come on, Jimmy. I have much better. I have taste like, I have very good taste. Since when? Now, when did you get taste? I always had good taste. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, now. How much does Jimmy love I, I, I mean? I'm going to play the ukulele soon. No, you're not. All yeah. right, say hi to Man God Morrow. I'm going to ask a question. Wait, wait till it stops. Don't let us Yeah, all right, hold on. The owner of this establishment. Say, say, say. The owner of this establishment, is he really going to fix the central air conditioning? Oh, really? You, you have more confidence in him stop, than I do. Right. Soon. Is it going to happen soon? soon? Will the fix only be temporary? Stop it and do it again. Will, will the fix only be temporary? Will the repair of the central air conditioning be only temporary? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The usual thing, man. So, in other words... You know, it'll last for a day or two and then an, an, In other words, the owner of this establishment is just a cheap bastard to get really get it fixed. Is that true? There you go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because if he wasn't a cheap bastard, he would he would replace the whole damn thing. Is the is the cent does the central air in this establishment need to be replaced completely? There you go. That's what Daisy just said. Just like the plumbing issue. Is this is that also including the plumbing issue in this building? Big yes. There you go. There you go. Huh. Interesting. So the owner of this establishment, like many businesses, does he have contempt for his customers? Yes. Yeah. It, are these people, um, Hi, buddy. are these people like arrogant egomaniacs that take advantage of customers? Huh, it's kind of like our president. <laughs> now I hear Michael Cohen uh, he's might spill the beans. Bit, yeah. Because uh, what's happening is, uh, yeah. I think his Trump... family and country come first. Trump opened... His family come first. I think did Trump family opened... Family and country come first. Did, did Trump, like, open his mouth and start bashing him? Well, no, or Trump has another goddamn thing. He, like, threw a bill to the curb. So, you don't do that. will Michael... Will former Trump attorney Michael Cohen, will he join... Well, you're gonna stop oh, already. Uh, former Trump Trump attorney Michael Cohen will he join uh, Avenatti and Mueller and go against the Trump administration? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You're right about the uh, the old swing and amulet. It gets to the point, doesn't it? Right away. It's the most effective. But but I'll make sure you bring it to a dead stop. Yeah, but, but only a well a well weighted one swings best, oh, yeah. like this one. Okay. <clears throat> make sure you stop it. Okay. Oh gee. Um. Jimmy loves Eileen so much. How much does she love him back? <laughs> trying to nauseate me. He He's trying to nauseate me. You're trying to nauseate me. As, as Dr. Smith would say, fun. oh, the pain, oh, the pain, oh. I know you're, she's only a friend. Oh, the pain. No, not even Does a friend. Eileen she's does, an acquaintance. Does Eileen love Jimmy? Say, no, that's not worth asking because it's not worth my effort. Can I do it? Because it, it doesn't, she, it, she doesn't stand a Chinaman's chance. Or she'll be Japanese. Or a turning Japanese, I really think so. I really so. think so. Da, 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 da. No sex, no drugs, no wine, no women. You remember that song? Yeah, yeah I do. I have the 45. Quack, 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 turning Japanese because I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. 98 degrees outside today. Does Eileen love Jimmy?
What's today? Uh, Monday, Monday, right? Yeah. So it will be Monday Madness, Maniacal Monday Madness, right? Part, part two. She loves you. Well, guess what? She's got even even after the second coming of Jesus, Jimmy, that Jimmy, she don't stand Jimmy, a snowball's Jimmy, chance Jimmy. in hell. Not a snowball. You know what's better than her? One of those silicone dolls from J from Japan. One of those a sex my turn. a sex toy. It's only Japanese because I'm too Japanese. Does Eileen love me too? Oh God. No. Oh, maybe because of, oh, you're telling her the truth. You're telling her the real truth, I think. She don't like that. I need, you, you know, this one reminds me you and her, the James Brown song. What's that Papa's mean? got a brand new hag. <laughs> yeah, sea hag. Wasn't there a sea hag on the old Popeye yes, uh, cartoons? Yes, yes. Yeah. That was also Carl Cabrera's, uh, Fiance when he was getting married. Remember I called yeah. him Sea Hag? Now, Wimp, I wonder what's the origin of Wimpy loving hamburgers so much on Popeye. I wonder what the well, origin... But it had to be 80-20 if you remember. 80-20? What the yeah, hell does that mean? Lean, lean meat, ground beef. Oh, he was a stickler for lean meat? No, I'm kidding you. A stickler. I yeah, like that word, stickler. You like that, huh? Stickler. Does that have to do with people getting... My friend Jimmy Madonna like the word stickler. Oh god. Yeah, I also like the cone of silence. <laughs> Does Jimmy go overboard in liking the cone of silence from the Get Smart TV series? Maniacal Monday Madness Part 2, there brother. You go. Remember, two parts that's, vodka. That show sucked. As a kid, I couldn't watch it. But you know, you know, Jerry Seinfeld loved it. But it, it so what's that? Maybe because it's what's so that validation. Because Jerry Seinfeld, like well, it? you know, because he's a he's an icon in comedy. You oh, know, and so, like Jay Leno saying he likes it. It's like yeah. Jay saying he or a Larry David or something. I don't know. It's like it, maybe it was just so damn stupid. Like Lost in Space. As a kid, I said this is just too stupid. But you know what? A lot of there's actual. Is a huge fan club of people that love all-time retro science fiction movies, like the B. They used to call them the B movies from yeah, the nineteen fifties. Yeah. You know, Robbie but, the Robot. But, but, yeah, I, yeah, we, we talked about it. Yeah, what's his name? Yeah, no, I mean, he was used so many times. We know that. We say that all the time. Right, right, right. Forbidden Planet. Well, Outer Limits was probably the first low-budget sci-fi series. I, I think Outer Limits was more space age than the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone had just heavy moral messages. Oh, and I saw it this morning. The Burgess Meredith were let with the books. It was on? Mm -hmm. They ran like 10 episodes. Why so? I want to why don't I, Why so early in the morning? Was it Spike TV? It was from 6, six to 10 o'clock. I bet it was Spike TV. No, uh, sci-fi. Oh. So you I know. saw I said all the time or whatever it was called, I watched it. And he saw the book and he went, oh, something, whatever. The glasses. He picked them up and the, the glass fell out. He goes, it's not fair. It's not fair, It's man. just not fair. Started weeping, yeah. Yeah. But did you know that he also played a, uh, in a long Twilight Zone episode where he played Satan and he was like taunting somebody? It was like it was like Doctor Faustus with Richard Burton. Oh, but I remember in the bar with Don Rickles, where he gained that strength from the aliens. The Amazing Mr. Dingle, remember that? So oh that yeah. Part he did but too. then the aliens got so fed up with well, his attitude. Then they left, and another group of aliens with these little Hispanic mustaches came. What are we going to do now? But, what uh, are we going to do? It was just, it was one of the worst Twilight Zone. It's like the on the Twilight Zone was never good when they tried to be funny. It's like in, in the Munsters when uh, Grandpa had the ham radio and, and the alien says, My, those Earth people are rude. His ham radio, they, rumor has it it was bone in. <laughs> bone in. Uh, my aunt and uncle, when they were Think younger. About it. Why was it a ham radio? That's true. Have, oh, speaking, my, when, my aunt and uncle from Baltimore, they used to send us smoked hams from a company called heavenly ham 
and it was a spiral cut. In other words, yeah, bone, it was bone in, but it was spiral. But there was so much meat around the bone that I say, we saved it for split pea soup. Because it, it was smoked ham. That was my line at the Players Club. Yes. Excuse me, honey, but there's so much meat around the bone. <laughs> well, you had a lot of good jokes at the Players Club. Oh. You know what was amazing? You would pick your favorite corner at the bar, and just based on your voice, everybody would no, come to I, you. I had everybody would come right to you. Right there at the very front. I never went around to the other sides. Like, I couldn't be bothered. Oh, really? You were you always hit the front part? That's players. Not, it's like as soon as you walk in. Bar. No, as soon as you walk in. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, the I thought I went around the back. Which is the I, I thought you were on the side. No. You were. I the, was on that. As you walk in, that whole front, first curve, all the way down. In that oh, area. like when you used to go to Bennigan's and Ramsey, you would always pick have a certain spot area, too. Yeah, a certain area. Yeah, right. And you were like the Pied Piper in Bennigan's. You had a big group of young guys around you. Girls. Listen to a super tag. The bartender, remember the beautiful blonde Claudia? Oh, she was gorgeous. In in Bennigan's. Yeah. Now, is that the same building as Jimmy Reed? That became that's Jimmy Reed's. A, no. a totally different no, building. It's now what, it's what's Olive Garden now. Okay, now where where Shannon Rose and Ramsey? That's what was Jimmy Reed's. That's the Jimmy Reed's yeah, building. Yeah, down in front of Quest. Yeah, they have good food. Which there, originally you know. was a great wood. Very famous restaurant, Swiss Chalet, back in the I, I, I remember that. But you know, um, um, and the, uh, Shannon Rose has a good menu. Yeah, I've eaten there. And the other, uh, what's it called? Where Steak and Ale used to be on the other side, which was a phenomenal. Oh, God, I had more fun. Did they really there. serve ale and Steak and Ale? Anything you wanted, they had it. It means they, they, they had beer they on they had tap, everything. right? Yeah. It was so good. Originally, that was a great steakhouse called Black Angus. Oh, is that the one with the big statue? The uh, big and, black Angus the bull. front. Yes. Because it was an all white building. Because there's a steakhouse in uh, on Route 1 in Saugus, Massachusetts that has a gigantic statue, too. Well, Jimmy, I think probably a number of them might. Yeah. You know, they all have things. Just like you see some uh, uh, gosh, exterminators have a big ant on them. The roof of the car. I mean, you know, they or an optometrist has, has a big yeah, eyeball. You see, yeah. you don't, they all has a big eyeball. You know, they have certain things. But, uh. You know, I think that I think that a good a good restaurant that usually they start out as family owned. When they get really established, I think the only the the main reason why they they close down is they just simply retire. You know, or no, you're right, you're wrong. You mean sometimes they sell out to a corporate chain? And sometimes, and sometimes they don't with the family. The next generation takes over, the next generation yeah. takes over, and then the next generation says, I just don't want to do this. So you got to be there all the time. So a lot of them give up, a lot <clears> of them <throat> do. It, it's all different circumstances. That's what, that's what, um... I mean, some of these companies must be famous, Jimmy. These pizzerias and what have you have been around 100 plus years. Yeah. And after a while, the next but, generation doesn't want to be bothered. But you have to have children that are willing to live well, that life. I mean. A lot of them don't want to and they give up and they sell. They say, same thing. It's the same. I don't that, want to do this. That's even worse than a retail store. I just don't want to do it. I'm, I mean, I'm just out. think about it. You got to be there all the time. And they sell out. You just have one of the world famous bakeries today close in New York. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And that upset a lot of people. Well, I, um, there was a bakery, um, I stopped on Union Boulevard in Totowa. I stopped there, uh, it was owned by, uh, um, it was Dutch, I, Dutch, it was European, Northern European. And man, for, for one dollar, you should see the cheese Danish I got. Where, it, 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 No, where? it was on Union Boulevard in Totowa. Is that an exit all 46 week? Yeah, it's all, it's all 46. Is is Union yeah, Boulevard. and Route 80 also. But I'm just saying, family owned, uh, European owners, you know, not American owners. They weren't let's stingy. They weren't hey, cheap. Let's be honest. Some of these parents that started these businesses, they have the kids, they work hard, send their kids to college, and they become other things lawyers, whatever, and whatever. Right. So when they graduate, I don't want them in the business. I'm a lawyer. Why, why kill myself? So they, you know, that's another example. Yeah. Why, why slave over enough, yeah, over enough, hot oven? I don't want to run this. I, I am a lawyer. You sent me to school to do something. Just think about it. You know, so. Uh, a pizzeria. It's friggin' hot back there. Yeah. 
you know, it's but like... you never see any of them put up some goddamn big fans just to move the air. So not, I, at least the big turbo fan least, in the corner somewhere. They make these fans for a reason, to be used. Right, like for... Why aren't you using like, them? Like, for instance, that part of the building is a hell of a lot cooler than any other section. Put the, put the turbo fan over there facing oh, no, this let me way. I interrupt you too. Years ago, they used to have some big fans right here in the back for the for the employees. They took them out. Oh, really? Why did you do that? Why? Because well, you Move want your the own. Air. So, so for the stinking, uh, oh. uh, for the stinking uh, uh, chicken told, feed I wages. Told, I told, I told, you used to have fans back here. Why did you take them out? So for the chicken feed wages, they want you to suffer. That's right. The great P.T. Barnum, ahead of his time. Well, that's is, sad that that's gone. That this is sucker born. American icon. You mean Ring, Ringling, Ringling, Ringling Brothers, Brothers? Yeah, Barnum and Barely now, Circus? Yeah. Sucker born every minute. Hundred plus years old and it's gone. Think about this, that, Jeremy. Think about it. A hundred years and it's, it's gone. gone. I think you think PETA, animal rights activists, uh, were played they said a role. Things went down with the tenants after the ele elephants. Well, they were whipping them, you know. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. You know, one of the elephants set, uh, lost its temper and just trampled uh, the trainers and killed them. No. Yeah, I saw a video of uh, the, the elephant had. Oh, well, they had shackles around the poor yeah, animal's legs. You don't, you don't do that. Chains. You don't, you don't do that. Why do you have to shackle their uh, their legs? And he was, and it was like an Indian guy. He's like whipping. Him. He's he's whipping him. He's whipping. Yeah. Yeah. And, I tell people too a great story. I always tell people. Remember one thing: they always claim a dog is a man's best friend. You beat it enough, it will go for your throat. Yeah. So do you remember that shit? And do you know that feral dogs always revert back to the pack mentality of sure, a wolf? Sure, it's in there. A it's wolf in, pack, in, inbred in them. A wolf Same pack. With Same with cats. And and you know what? And the elephant was rated one of the top ten intelligent animals in the world. Sure. They, their memory is 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 a and their intelligence, um, even rats, as even though they only live three years, damn rat is up there in the top 10 for intelligence. Well, I know in the psychology lab in college, we worked with the albino white rat, which is considered the cleanest animal on the planet. The lab rat, well, they're always like cleaning, grooming yeah. themselves. Yeah, well, they yeah. get the comb out, they're like, I mean, monk, no. monkeys groom each other, but they do nasty things. Oh, no, that's things. just picking. And then they throw feces at you. No, and they do rat. other things. They jerk off. Oh, yeah. jer well, well, nothing wrong with that. Well, in front of you. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't even think P. I don't even think Pee Wee Herman would have done that. I would have. In front of people? Sure. I heard uh, Jim Morrison. Excuse me, sir. I heard Jim Morrison did that in England in a concert, at a concert no, towards no, the I, end of his life. No, no, I know Jimi Hendrix back in the yeah. early days. He was the opening act for the Monkees. He was? Yes, he was. The opening act. The opening act. So the kids were all, he was playing, they were all chanting, <coughs> this is true. We want the Monkees, we want the Monkees. He said, you want a fucking monkey? I'll give you a monkey. We <laughs> went that out on stage and started doing this. That was the two, uh, Voodoo, yeah. Ch Voodoo Child and Stop Foxy Lady, right? Those were two of his songs. The biggest song, Voodoo Child. Fire. Uh, uh, God, he, he, he had, he had 20, 30 great kids. Well, that was Voodoo Child when he went. Uh, all over the Watchtower. He had so many, many big But isn't it amazing how, how he opened up for the monkeys? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, think about that. We want the monkeys. I'll give you a fucking monkey. <laughs> well, you know what? They heckled That's them. That's jerk off and called and spanked the monkey. That's how the co they coined the phrase, right? Not from that. No, it was before that, but that's why. Yeah, you, but they want a monkey, I'll give you a fuck. But they monkey. heckled them, and they, and they, they didn't got... They really heckled, they screamed for the monkeys. We want the monkeys, we want the monkeys. In other words, they didn't give the poor guy a chance no. to perform. No. Let the guy perform for you. And that became a legend. Jimi Hendrix. We Frank Zappa was pretty good guitarist, too. Yeah. Poor guy. We want the monkeys. Yeah, you're gonna hear last train to Clarksville and and um, um, yeah, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Hey, 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 yeah, I'm a believer. Oh, like the Partridge family. Goodbye, they... Sleepy Jean. Oh, what does it mean? Now, Sleepy Jean. To a daydream believer. That really and die. Homecoming, homecoming queen. queen. That. Yes. Well, I think Sleepy Jean was about giving a girl a Mickey and knocking her out. Date. It was about date rape, wasn't it? Well, 
but I do know when I once I was in line, I think it was in Ridgewood that I bought a jar of, and I buy it all the time, but this one time I bought it. Queen olives? Okay. You know, stuffed Queen olives. Yeah. I just said to the guys, excuse me, when I ate these, they're not going to make me, well, you know, get it? Queen Queen olives. I didn't explain it to you. No, I'm listening. I'm focusing on I you, said, man. Well, you know. He goes, oh, that's good. Hey, dream believer. With Ray, we were at the liquor store in Ridgewood. Right. So we're behind two or three people. You know, they have the bags of beer nuts. I said, Ray, when you get up to the guy at the register, say, excuse me, you have beer nuts? <laughs> he says, yes, say, well, I hear penicillin, and clear that right up. <laughs> you know, I used to love those round red Spanish nut peanuts. You, have, you remember those, the little ones? They were good. They were called Spanish peanuts. But do you know that the red skin on those peanuts are high in, in antioxidant borac score? That's what I hear. Because of polyphe... Anything with pigmentation, anything from a dark color or brightly colored food. Well, it's good I have stuff at home because I'm not going to stand in line. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, right. You know what? It's a good thing you have stuff at home. What was I going to say? Oh, the Partridge family. I don't. I really don't think they could play those instruments. And they used to go fa la well, la la la. Remember the, the time. little girl in the tambourine never said a word. She never said a word. She stood there like like the like the monk like the monkey that you wind, wind up, up thing. Ching 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 ching. ching, 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 ching. She never said a word. Never. <sighs> At least you're having sex. With they you. went through the, the other one. A little, little little brother too. He never said anything. Remember him? You remember on the first few episodes of Happy Days, the older brother, Chuck? And that came on and he was gone. Nobody said a word about him ever again. I don't remember. Chuck. I, I just remember Pat Morita was the original Arnold. Then Paul Mo, uh, Molina, you know, uh, Al Molinaro, Al Molinaro uh, who was married to cop on, on the odd couple. Tiny nose. Yeah, he had a small proboscis. No, yeah. nose. Nose. And, um, no. I don't remember that brother. I don't. Trump. They got rid of him. He always had the basketball. And I guess he didn't catch on. And after about two or three episodes, he wasn't there anymore. And nobody mentioned You know, the poor, poor um, God rest his soul, Erin Moran was in tears during the Aaron interview. Erin Moran. Moran was in yeah. tears saying she was molested during the... Uh, by what? Scott Byers an asshole. I think I, he's a right-wing son of a bitch, you know. You, you know what he tweets? He's a right-wing fascist son of a bitch. He doesn't care about anybody but him. But but, so he's like really ultra, well, ultra. No, there's, I. She never wanted to come clean and say who molested her, on in that group. But I have yeah, a the feel. other girl from Charles in Charge accused him too. Maybe it was him. Well, no, she did. She accused him. Poor kid. And she died poor, living in a trailer. Park, yeah. Poor kid. That nobody, nobody, and she said that nobody really de defended her or came no, to her rescue. They didn't help her at all. Nobody cared. Yeah. Tom Bosley with his stupid uh, hair uh, hair plug commercial. And nobody, nobody Mary came. Mary and Ross. Well, nobody came. Nobody. But you would think, I think. Uh, I would think Winkler would. Yeah, I would have thought so. Or, or Opie. Richie, Richie Cunningham. Richie Cunningham. Um, uh, Ron Howard. Ron Howard, yeah. Actually, I would think well, Ron Howard more than anyone would have came to our rescue. Nobody did anything. Well, that we know of. Maybe they did. We don't know. You know, there are people. Well, the biggest mystery of life is how someone who has fame, fortune, and lots of adoring fans and loving fans. And when things go bad, kill themselves. Everybody's gone. Where are your friends all of a sudden when you're broke? You know what? When you hit rock bottom, nobody's around anymore. And nobody's around, you find out who your true friends are. Right. When you're on top of the world, everybody wants to well, be your best friend. Oh, they want to hang her on. Oh, on the coattails. Oh, Billy Morrow, you you're won. You're the greatest. You're the best. You won the Powerball lottery. Oh, yeah. Remember me? We used to play in the sandbox yeah. together. I'm I'm your uh, third cousin. Yeah. We used to be buddies. Oh, by the way, before they ask you for money, Listen, I'd love to talk more. Here's my friend's number. Her name is Eileen. Give her a call. She'll handle things. I got yeah. run. By the way. When Ralph Cramden used the word, by the way, that means somebody wants a favor. When they when they give you the story and then there's a by the way, that means they want something from you. I've been thinking. Oh, don't think. I've please. been uh, thinking, think. or let don't me tell think. you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Why did they say let or me tell you? Or Southerners, when they're going to get your ass and fix your butt good, is when they go, 
We'll bless you real hard. Meaning you're fucked. I'm gonna get you. Let's go. Yeah, but, uh, uh, um, what was the, yeah. What's the other one? Um, well, by the way, uh, yeah. No, the other thing I said. Um, Don't forget your. Car. I digress. I digress. I You're forgot. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.